In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 8, Section 4. We're on a new section, Calculator Permitted, Questions 1 and 2. You know these are easy questions early on. The problem solving extends to 30, and then a grid insert at 31. One pound of grapes costs $2 at this rate. How many dollars will C pounds of grapes cost? So one pound of grapes is $2, and so to figure out how many C pounds of grapes, it would just be two times C, A. All right, let's take a look at question number two. Here we've got this graph. Tracy collects and sells and trades figurines, and she tracks the number of figurines in her collection on the graph below. Here's the graph. On what interval did the number of figurines decrease the fastest? So decrease the fastest is just where it's descending the steepest. And so here it's going down from here to here, but this is a little flatter than this and so this is going to be the interval where it is decreasing the fastest it's between three and four the answer is c and since these were such short questions i'm just going to in this video do the next page let's turn take a look at the next problem so let's look at uh, three through five in a random sample of 200 cars a particular model three have manufacturing defect at this rate how many of the 10,000 cars of the same model will have a defect this is a, just a proportion question we're told random sample of 200 there are three and so as long as you're consistent we're going to put the number of defects on the top i'll put a d and this is over the, the sample out of 200 so this rate is equivalent cars are going to be on the bottom and we have to find at this rate and that's going to be the x and then we just cross multiply so we get 200 x equals 30,000 and you can use your calculator for that so just to make sure so 30,000 divided by 200 and the answer is 150 a all right let's take a look at question number four we've got this scatter plot shows data collected on the lengths and widths of iris tosa petals a line of best fit for the data is shown based on the line of best fit if the width of the petal is 19 millimeters what is the predicted length in millimeters of the petal so they give us the line of best fit note we've got the equation this is a linear equation so line of best fit best represents the data it's sort of a trend line and we want to predict 19. So 19 is actually off this chart. So instead of drawing it up and estimating, I would just use the formula, right? We know X is the width, so we're going to just plug in a 19. And so then we'll get Y equals 1.67. 19 is the one we're trying to estimate, plus the constant. The Y intercept is 21.1. Again, just use your calculator. So 1.67 times 19 plus 21.1. And 52.8, that's exactly correct. C. All right, let's take a look at number five. In the figure above, lines L and M are parallel. Y equals 20, Z equals 60. What's the value of X? So let's put in the values Y is 20 and z is 60 and they tell us that these are parallel and so we know with parallel lines if you extend it out like this this is a transversal so this is 20 we know this angle we don't really need it for this problem but this would be 160 this would be 160 because they're parallel this would be 20. they give us this is 60 and then we see we've made this triangle here and so we've got 60 plus 20 is 80 so what's left the answer is 100.